Sam Serpent Tuesday coming back at you. Now, for really quick, before we pray and start into our Lighthouse lessons, we are going to review what we've learned the past few days. So where did Adam and Eve do wrong? That's what we have to ask ourselves. Write down or draw what you think that where they did was wrong. The set, then we have the second box of where. Now in the second box, right where Blackbeard did his stealing. Remember, he stole. Where did he do his stealing? But God commended his love towards us and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5, 8. But God commended. Remember, this means proved. God proved his love towards us. I like to put, instead of us, we can put your name in it. But God commended his love towards me, Suzette, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Now, it means to you personally, but it's everyone. God wants you to show you that he loves every single one of us, that he sent his son to die for us. Now, let's pretend that I'm a pirate who stole someone's money. But instead of me going to jail for the crime, um, an innocent man goes for me instead. Now, that innocent man wanted to. He was willing to. He's like, no, I know you stole these diamonds and all this money, but let me go to jail for you. Can you imagine that? How nice of that man. That's a little scenario I want to share with you guys. That That's kind of like how Jesus was. That's how, although none of us are innocent, we all sin against God and deserve to be punished. But Jesus died on the cross to take the punishment we deserve so we can be forgiven and become children of God. Now, um, in that while, we, while Jesus died, did die for us, rather than trying to earn God's forgiveness. Yes. Now, after Jesus died, something amazing happened. He came back to life. Have you ever heard of Easter? That's Resurrection Day. Now, Jesus died. Something amazing happened. He came back to life. Of course, we know nothing is too hard for God. And even coming back to life, that's, that's a whole other level. That just shows us one more way that Jesus is God. Now, it's amazing to think that God loves us so much that God the Son came to earth and died for us to take the punishment we all deserve. This is something I wanted to share with you guys because, like in my testimony I said before, I asked Jesus to come into my heart and save me. And it shows me that God is always listening. God is always there for us. And God is never not by our side. He's always there right next to you. I know sometimes it's better to see, but having faith in Christ and having trust in Him that He's always there makes it ten times better knowing that I'm okay. I'm safe. I know my God is always there. And we're just going to go through Romans 5 8 one more time and then we can pray and end it. Okay. So we have Romans 5 8. But God commended his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Remember that God is proving that he loves you so much. Okay, let's pray. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, thank you for allowing us to get into your word and learn more about you. Thank you for showing us that. Thank you for sending your son to die for each one of us, even for me, Lord, for everyone else, for my mom, my dad. I know I love them so much, Lord, and I can't bear to even think of seeing my loved ones go to hell, Lord. Thank you for coming to my heart and saving me, Lord, and I pray that these kids have the opportunity to... <clears throat> to um, accept you in their hearts, Lord, if they don't. Pray that they seek someone. I pray that you bring someone to, to them, Lord. Thank you for everything you've done for us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.